Hey folks, Paul Abernathy here. So I posted this image over on Facebook causing quite a debate, which is the reason, obviously there's a reason always when I post an image and leave it very vague, is in order to solicit comments and what people think. And it really points out what people know and what they don't know. And that's the whole reason for the, for the posting of the illustration or the image right here. So a lot of people brought up that, again, I posted a snippet of 31015C1, and that is to talk about maintaining spacing of cable assemblies to when we would apply the uh, adjustments uh, for more than three current carrying conductors. So in this scenario right here, everybody throws up the term bundling. Of course, we're used to that. We're used to the concept of what bundling is, and we have definitions of cable bundle uh, and things like that in Article 100 now in the 2023. Uh, cable bundle itself only applies to Article 520, but we do have other references to bundling. Um, now, the question is, in 31015C1, it doesn't mention the word bundling at all. So the definition is not really germane here. In this illustration, I promise you, they're probably uh, together more than 40 inches, uh, probably more like four feet, if you think about it. And... If you look at this, if you look at the top plates and you look at the two by sixes that it passes through, think to your mind, now 24 inches would only be about four or five of those turned on the side. Well, look at that run there, whether it doesn't matter which perspective you're looking at. We have a situation where we have packages of cable assemblies that are going to be more than four uh, 12 twos, for example, especially those ones that also look like they had eight twos in there. So, once you start exceeding nine current carrying conductors in an assembly like that, where you have them all grouped together, then it starts to really affect the opacity of the conductor. So, you know, up till about nine current carrying conductors, you can use a 90 to adjust and correct, and, it's, and it still should be okay. But in some of these bundles here, and I say bundles because I believe that this is more than 40 inches of actual cable assembly brought together. And they are bound at certain points where they go through the openings. So that's the whole concept of the new definition of bundling. However, again, bundling is not the optimum word to use in this situation. What does the code say? Well, the code says in 310.15C1, and I'll read it for you, the most important part, and you'll notice it says nothing about bundling. It says, or where single conductors or multi-conductor cables, such as this, are installed in raceways, uh, are not installed in raceways, because these are not, are not installed in raceways, are installed without maintaining spacing for a continuous length longer than 24 inches, okay? I can promise you that these cables are not maintaining spacing for 24 inches. So that means that the adjustment of factors in 310.15C1 are going to have to take place. Now, like I said, if you really don't have more than four, four uh, 12 twos or four 14 twos or, or a 14 three and, two, and three 14 twos or a 12 three and three 12 twos together, then even after you apply the adjustments using the 90, then you're going to be okay, but we have quite a bit more than this. So for everybody out there that's saying bundling, 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 bundling does not appear in 31015C1, and that was the whole real purpose of the post. I knew where it would go, and I knew what people would post. So understanding what this is and understanding how 310.15C1 is applied, these cables are not maintaining spacing. Thus, the adjustment factors and the rules in 31015C1 must be applied. And at the end of the day, it's going to dramatically reduce the amount of ampacity that those conductors can carry. That was the whole purpose of the lesson.